Hi guys. Okay, today we're gonna be a little bit of a negative Nancy. I have a full box, a very noisy box of products that just didn't work for me, hence the title. Um, these are either products I bought with my own money that I just didn't like, or products that I received in subscription boxes and I regret sticking my little grubby fingers in. Just because I say I don't like these products does not mean I have anything against the brand, does not mean I don't like the brand. Uh, no offense to anything. If you like these products, then you like them. Um, just because my skin's different, everyone's skin's different, if a product doesn't work for me, does not mean it's not going to work for you. We have different opinions and we are all different people. So, with that being said, let's jump into it because there's quite a bit in here. And this is going to be in no particular order because I'm just going to pull out of the box. Um, the first one I have is an eyeshadow palette and it's actually two by the same brand. These are the Laura Lee Los Angeles eyeshadow palettes. Now, I have two of them. One of her eyeshadow palettes I absolutely love. And there's nothing wrong with these form the formulas. It's, well, nothing wrong with this formula. Um, a lot of it's the colors. So the first one is the Party Animal palette, which looks like this. We got in a boxy charm, looks like this. The formula of this is just not great, to be honest. Uh, they're patchy, they stain the eyes, and there's so much fallout, and they're just not good, in my personal opinion. And then the next one is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas palette. Now, it's just the shades in these. I have these shades in a lot of other palettes, and these shades are nothing special, so I hardly use it. I'm going to try to move quick because there's quite a bit. And the next eyeshadow palette is by Tarte. It's the Dream Big eyeshadow palette. Again, nothing wrong with this formula. I just wish I hadn't stuck my little grubby fingers in it because I don't use this. It, the colors are just not for me. I don't use them on a daily basis. I've, I've used this palette once. Like, I just shouldn't have kept it. The next one is a crap palette. This is the LA Splash Golden Gatsby palette. Love the packaging, love the names, love all that. Um, these shades though, the shimmer shades is what the problem is. So this is what it looks like. The mattes are nice, they blend great, they're buttery, uh, not, not patchy or anything. It's the shimmer shades that are really bad. Uh, they're not shimmery at all. They're like cracked in the pan because they dry, they flake off. They're just like, look at that. You're not gonna be able to see anything. Look at that. Very bad. Like that's nothing, what the heck? They're terrible. You no, know, I can spray them with Fix Plus. It does nothing like that. Eyeshadow palette really disappointed me. The next thing I have is like a skincare product. This is the Grown Alchemist Botanical Beauty Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit. Um, this is a face facial exfoliant. It's like got weird packaging, so it's all bent and stuff. But um, it's just a face scrub. Now I don't like this because it burned my face, like. It smells really strongly like grapefruit. It's just a white cream with uh, like little scrubby particles in it. This stuff, once I put it on my face, my face like burned. Like I had to take it off. It was terrible. I've used it a couple times. I thought, you know, I didn't know. I tried it a couple times just to make sure my skin did not like that at all. I had a really weird reaction to it. The next one is the Teamy Detox Mask Green Tea Blend Matcha Lemon Glass and Clay. I've never used this. Now you're probably like, Jasmine, if you've never used it, how can you say you don't like it? Well, I've opened it, and when I took it out of the box, I didn't notice until I was reading something on the box, and it says, warning, the safety of this product has not been determined. What? Are you serious? The safety of this product has not been determined, but they want me to put it on my face. Hmm, there's something wrong with that. You know. I know that there are eyeshadow shades and eyeshadow palettes that are pressed pigments which are not safe for the eyes and people still do it. I know. And I'm sure that's kind of what this is. But this is what it looks like. And if you could smell it, it smells like dirt. It's It just smells like dirt. It looks weird and it's just really off-putting for me so I'm a little scared to use it. If you guys have used this, please let me know down below and if this is something you like, let me know because I'm scared. I don't want my face to freaking burn off. That's what I, in my mind, I'm like, if I put this on, my face is not gonna be okay. And the next thing I have is the Koki Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I have dry skin. Matte and dry skin do not go good together. Why did I buy this? I don't know. It just dries my skin out even more. That's a no. 
Um, the next thing is this Ulta Double Duty Primer and Foundation. Um, I have mine in the shade Light Ivory. Now, this is thick. Like, I'm using a lot of force to get that out. That is thick. Look, look at that. It's just stained. Very, very thick. Thick, 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 thick. And I'm not for the primer and foundations in one. This was just too thick for my skin. Um, it peeled up. It didn't look nice. It just, and it's orange. Like, you're not going to be able to see very well because of my lighting. But let me take a light away. Look at that. That is orange. How? How is that light? Are you kidding me? Like, that is orange. No, thank you. And it just did not work for my skin. Like, it's patchy and not not just not for me the next foundation i have is by bh cosmetics it's the bh liquid foundation naturally flawless this foundation gives absolutely no coverage whatsoever for me um i've tried it with a brush i've tried it with a sponge it's just no coverage for me personally and if i want something very light coverage i would go for a bb cream or something geared like that not a foundation that's supposed to give a coverage this just was not for me and now this is what I mean when I say products that don't work for me might work for you. I have a cousin who swears by this foundation. It's her absolute favorite. She wears it every day. But it doesn't work for me. So, you know, everybody's different. The next one is the Koki. The lid just flew. Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I have mine in the shade 20W. Not my correct shade. But, um, again, this did not give enough coverage. It is, says it's supposed to be a mid-coverage natural finish. No. It covers more than the BH Cosmetics foundation, but it's a very light coverage, like BB cream, CC cream coverage type. Um, and it, my skin just did not like it. It just didn't sit well on my skin and I couldn't get it to blend in nicely. So for me, it just didn't work. The next thing I have is a primer. This is the Physician Formula Insta Ready Face Primer. You guys, this is straight silicone. It's got broad spectrum SPF 18, you guys know. This is straight silicone, like I'm just gonna, Look at that. It's straight silicone and it smells like garbage. Look at that. No. Like, I can pick up the silicone. It's just chunky. It breaks up the foundation and it's actual silicone. Like, nothing else. Terrible. Don't do that to your skin. My skin broke out really bad from it. No. No, 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 no. Clad is clogged. Poor heaven. The next primer is the Catrice Color Correcting Prime and Fine Anti-Red Base. Now, this is a green primer because it's going to counteract redness, which I get on my cheeks. But this just gave my skin a really gross gray cast and made it look dark, and I didn't like that. It just didn't cover enough, and it just gave my skin this really weird gray cast, and it just didn't work for me. The next one is the... Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer by Dr. Brandt. This burned my skin. When I put it on, I could, like, my skin had, like, this tingly burning sensation. I had to wipe it off. It did not work for me. Uh, the next one is the e.l.f. Lock-On Face Primer. You guys, this is straight glue. Yeah, you've seen that, right? This is straight glue for your face. Don't do it, you guys. It's straight glue. Nobody should be putting that on their face. Maybe if you're like oil city and you get so, like you get really, 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 really oily and nothing works for you, I would try that. But other than that, don't do it to yourself. That is straight glue for your face. The next product is Lou by Jeanso Clear Spot Control. You guys, um, I have a, this is an acne spot treatment. It's a doe foot applicator and it's like this weird green color it stains your skin so bad and it does absolutely nothing i have an acne spot treatment treatment i love uh it's my origins it's like the cake control or something like that it's like it's just their spot treatment it's amazing it works i love it and i ran out so i was like oh i have one of these i'll try it it stains your skin so you're supposed to take the dofa out and hold it on your like acne for 30 seconds. Now you do that and you remove it and there's just this yellow gross green dot on your skin and it does nothing. I feel like honestly it made it worse. I, it did nothing for my skin. The next thing is by Clinique. It's the B-I-Y Blend It Yourself Pigment Drops. Now, when I bought these I was like, oh great, I can mix these in with foundations to darken them up if I buy the wrong shade. Um, I can use this as a bronzer and bronze up my skin. 
Okay, so this is straight water, as you're gonna see. Straight water. And it's, sh it, like it's dripping, it's dripping, it's straight water on my skin. And it's shimmery, let me wipe a lot of that off so I don't get it everywhere. It's shimmery, nobody wants a shimmery bronzer or pigment drops, like, come on. No, just, it was a no-go for me. The next thing is by Absolute New York, it's the Natural Lip Balm and Mint. This is what made me want to do this video. You're gonna be like, um, lip balm, really? Lip balm made you want to do this video? I've tried to use this, you guys, I just can't anymore. It does nothing for my lips. Um, it's like gritty almost. It's no go, it's absolutely nothing for my lips. And it leaves like this gritty feeling on my lips. Not for me. The next thing I have is by Hard Candy. It's the Glamifage Heavy Duty Concealer. This stuff is so thick, which I don't mind. I don't mind a thick concealer. But it just, it's thick and cakey and makes my skin look so bad under my eyes. Like, look at that. That is so thick. And the shade's not good for my under eyes. Like, I can only use a little bit of it. But it's just real, real thick. And it didn't look well under my eyes. Right now it looks white. But, yeah, that was a no-go for me. I think I just got under my shirt. But, okay. I've had a lot of coffee today. And I probably shouldn't. Who lets me drink coffee? Like, who's the adult that says, Hey, Jasmine, drink ten cups of coffee a day? Me. I'm the adult. I shouldn't be. Who allowed this? Who okayed it? Next thing we have is another concealer. This is my Smashbox. It's the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. This did not cover anything for me. Didn't cover anything, which I'm okay with. Like today I don't have a high coverage concealer on. I'm okay if I get light coverage or medium coverage. I'm, I'm okay. I am okay. This oxidizes so bad. Like look at it. It looks this light shade. It's in the shade light. As soon as I put it on my skin, it's going to turn orange. You ready for this? Boom! That is orange. I don't care who you are. That is not light. Who okayed that to be light? Like, shade range what? Okay. Um, let's see. What next? What next? What next? This one's on here. The next product I have is by Too Faced. I want candy banana pudding. Uh, brightening face powder. So this is like one of those multicolored face powders that is in like the banana shade. And you're supposed to put it on your eyes and it's supposed to brighten way too dark for my under eyes the next few products the next one is the cover effects gold bar highlighting palette it's got three shades 24 karat gold white gold and rose gold and it's just this highlighting trio you guys i'm gonna dip my fingers in here watch one two where's the highlight one two one two you guys what the heck these are chalky there's no pigment on any of these like the middle one especially. Like, what the heck? Where's the highlight? Like, these two are okay. What the heck? They're chalky. They're gross. I can't get them to show up on my face. And this was a pretty penny. Like, this was pretty expensive, if I'm not mistaken. Like, 40 bucks almost. And it just doesn't work. Like, are you kidding me? I cannot get them to work at all. Uh, the next one is the Galactic Skin Glow Moonlight. I don't know. They're like these cream blush and highlighters. I don't like cream products. I was trying to get into cream products and I used this. It just for my skin looked patchy and didn't show up very well. So it's not good for me. But I will say this is another example of someone loving it. My grandma loves that. She has used hers up. She absolutely loves it. The next one is the Too Faced uh, Peach Frost Melting Highlighter Palette. Or Highlighter Melting Powder Highlighter. Jeez, oh, peach. Looks like this. And it's like a cream to powder. So you dip your finger in. You're not gonna be able to see the shade. That's the shade. I stand under my leggings. I am a mess. And I'm gonna swatch it. What? There's highlighter there? Where? It's nothing. Now I got this in a swap from a friend and I don't I don't wanna say anything bad because I like I try not to say anything bad because it was given to me, but it's not good. <laughs> It's not good. I tried it many, many different ways. With a brush, with a sponge, with my finger. I just could not. There's no highlight. It's like a lightning powder and it does nothing. And then the next two are these Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blushes. These are just too bright and so I have this one. It's in the shade Dare to Soar. These are from the um, Flight of Fancy collection, which that's the shade. It's just way too bright and shimmery. I love a good bright shimmery blush but it's just not good for me and then this one 
is just a weird pink shade. Looks like this. This one's in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself, which is like almost a highlighter, but like too pink for a highlighter. The next product I have is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. Now, this is in the shade Nova. We got these in a boxy charm. I just don't know how to use these. They're too glittery for a highlight. They get everywhere. I don't want to mix them in with my foundation because I don't want glitter everywhere. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm scared. I don't want to use them on my eyes because how? How do I use them on my eyes? Like, look at the glitter. That is everywhere. How am I supposed to use these? Please let me know how you use those because they're so glittery. I get glitter absolutely everywhere. Like, look, I looked it up. Now my whole hand's covered. Ay, ay, ay. The next two products are eyeliners. This is the Chocolate Gel Eyeliner by Bang Cosmetics. Bang Beauty, Bang Cosmet, yeah. Bang Beauty Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. Now, this is the worst eyeliner ever. For one, I like colored eyeliner, so I'm okay with chocolate eyeliner. This is, it's nothing. Like, I just swatched it. Where is it? It's nothing. It pills up if you try to add more. It's streaky. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, the next one is by LA Splash again. It's the Art Protect Slim Eyeliner. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's not very black. It bleeds like crazy and it dries shiny. And the bristles on it like fray because they're um, it's a bristle tip, so like these bristles fray and it doesn't cover glitter. It's just a really bad eyeliner. The next two products are brow products. The first one is by Flower Beauty. It is the Brow Vixen Tattoo Effect Stain. I got mine in the shade Taupe. It's like this, um, marker type. And you're supposed to be able to draw, like, hair-like strokes and it's supposed to look like you have eyebrows when you don't. Now, I'm going to swatch this for you and you're going to see the shade. That is green. Where in the world is that taupe? That is green. The shade is just too off. It's It dries green on my eyes. So my eyebrows look green and it's just not good. Didn't work for me. The last few products are lips. So let's just jump right in. The first two are by CoverGirl. They are the CoverGirl Melting melting Pout Mattes. These are streaky. I have the shade, what shade is this? Gray Matter and Secret. This is Secret, this is Gray Matter. I'm gonna swatch these and you're gonna see how streaky these actually are. That's Gray Matter. And then you go over it, try to fix it. Nope, so streaky, so, so streaky. I, these are the only two shades I've tried from this line. So I don't know if it's just the darker shades or what but they're just streaky and they don't work for me like that one is a little better but it's still really streaky they're nice i like the like the wear on my lips how they feel and everything i just can't get them to look nice because they are so streaky the next one is by beauty creations and it is the long wear matte lip gloss for one it's a matte lip gloss so it shouldn't be called the lip gloss if it dries matte that's just my personal opinion but this is so drying on the lips. It's terrible. That's what it looks like. It smells really good. It smells like candy. It smells like gummies. And it's just too drying on the lips. And it was not, it was not comfortable. And then the next one is by Pure Cosmetics. It is the X Full Lip Plumping Lip Exfoliator. It's just a stick lip exfoliator now. This doesn't exfoliate very well. It's more moisturizing than anything. It does not plump. It just doesn't exfoliate, doesn't plump, it's just hydrating. So it really didn't do its job and it wasn't good. The next thing I have is a uh, Lovely Me Meix My Lipsy Cherry Aqua Tint. This was streaky. Now this is a tint, so once you put it on, it's gonna stain your lips, but it was so streaky on the lips. It gave me like a ring and it wouldn't go in the inner part of my lip. It only stood on the outside. So I had just like this weird ring and it didn't work. It's a pretty, pretty shade. It was just so streaky on my lips, and I've tried it so many times to try to get it to work. Um, the next three are by Wet n Wild. Now, if you know, I love the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. They are my absolute favorite formula, drugstore formula, but their metallics are not good. They're streaky as heck. The first one I have is Harbor a Crush, which is this shade right here, very pretty. And then I have Siren Jewels, again, a very pretty shade. 
And then Sea Seduction, which is my favorite shade, but they're streaky. I can't get them to apply nicely. They just don't work very well. So those are the three shades. And the next one is another metallic. I like a metallic formula. I have a Makeup Geek one I love. I have a Smashbox one I love. Jeffree Star one I love. I love metallics, but you have to have the right formula. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Paints Metallic in the shade Smoldering Eclipse. This is streaky. Look at that. That is so streaky and so bad. Not good. I like the formula of these that isn't metallic, but the metallic formula is terrible. So you guys, I think that's everything. That is everything that I can think of that disappointed me. Let me know what products you bought and you didn't live up to the hype. Didn't You didn't like, just didn't work for you. Let me know if you like any of these products I mentioned. Let me know, I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.